Good morning everyone. This is Dr. M. K. Dev from the Department of Humanities and Social Sciences, Assam Downtown University. Today I shall discuss on self-help group that means SAG, its characteristics and functions. The concept of self-help groups had its origin in the cooperative philosophy and the cooperators by and large, including the national federations in the credit sector, could not think of any better SSG than a primary cooperative credit society itself. The genesis of SSG in India can be traced to formation of self-employed women's association in short, that is now popularly known as SEVA in 1970. All SAGs are small and economically homogeneous affinity groups of rural poor. They are voluntarily coming together for achieving the following things. To save small amount of money regularly, to mutually agree to contribute a common fund, to meet their emergency needs, to have collective decision making, to solve conflicts through collective leadership, to provide collateral free loan with terms decided by the group at the market driven rates. Now here are several characteristics of SHGs. They usually create a common fund by contributing their small savings on a regular basis. The groups evolve a flexible system of operations often with the help of the non-governmental organizations that means NGOs and manage their common pooled resource in a democratic manner. <laughs> groups considered loan requests in periodical meetings with competing claims on limited resources being settled by consensus regarding greater needs. Loaning is mainly on the basis of mutual need and trust with minimum documentation and without any tangible security. The amount loaned are small, frequent and for short duration. The rates of interest vary from group to group depending upon the purpose of loans and are often higher than those of banks but lower than those of money lenders. At periodical meetings, besides collecting money, emerging rural, social and economic issues are discussed. Defaulters are rare due to group pressure or peer pressure and intimate knowledge of the end use of the credit as also the borrower's economic resources. Now here are several functions of SHGs. <coughs> Enabling members to become self-reliant and self-dependent, providing a forum for members for discussing their social and economic problems, enhancing the social status of members by virtue of their being members of group, developing and encouraging the decision-making capacity of members, fostering a spirit of mutual help and cooperation among members, instilling in members a sense of strength and confidence which they need for solving their problems, providing organizational strength to members, providing a platform for members for exchange of idea, providing literacy and increasing general awareness among members and promoting numerically and equipping the poor with basic skills required for understanding monetary transactions. Thank you.